so let's see this problem so show that any arbitrary 2 by 2 matrix can be written as linear combination of sigma x sigma y sigma z that is uh, these are all the Pauli spin matrices and a 2 by 2 unit matrix so according to the question we need to prove that any matrix any 2 by 2 matrix uh, just like a, a 2 by 2 1 2 3 4 or 2 by 2 0 1 3 0 any matrix so arbitrary means uh, any 2 by 2 matrix uh, it can be expressed as the linear combination of these matrices that is this Pauli spin matrices sigma x sigma y sigma z as well as this identity matrix so we need to prove this point so for this first of all let the arbitrary 2 by 2 matrix b a b c d so this is a 2 by 2 matrix so 2 rows and 2 columns so let us suppose that this is one of the any arbitrary 2 by 2 matrix let us uh, consider for uh, so, uh, for proving this one and uh, first of all let us write what is sigma x sigma y sigma z so these are all the Pauli spin matrices so from the definition of Pauli spin matrices we have sigma x is equals to 0 1 1 0 and sigma y is equals to 0 minus i i 0 0 minus i i 0 and sigma z equals to 1 0 0 minus 1 so these are the Pauli matrices and we know that identity matrix is 1001 this is uh, identity matrix for um, uh, 2 by 2 matrix so now as the question itself uh, from the question itself we have we have to prove this matrix this arbitrary matrix uh, can be written as linear combination of these four matrices so for that so how we do is so linear combination they are saying so let x y z w be some constants some constant variables now in the question so according to the question let us design an equation so a b c d can be expressed as linear combination of these matrices that is x sigma y, x or y sigma y plus z sigma z plus w i so you can use any notation here e f g in the place of x y z w you can use e f g h anything like that so according to the question this is the thing we needed to prove so from the proof itself uh, let us uh, start so uh, let us see whether we can uh, find x y z such that we can get this matrix or not so let us see we, whether we can solve this equation or not so now a b c d x into 0 1 1 0 and y into 0 minus i i 0 plus z into 1 0 0 minus 1 plus w into 1 0 0 1 so now a b c d so here if you see so 0 x into 0 0 x into 1 x and here also x 0 and here 0 into y 0 0 into minus i i y i into y i y 0 into y 0 plus z 0 0 minus z after multiplication so w 0 0 w so now again a b c d equals so for first element first row first column element 0 plus 0 plus z plus w 
and uh, first row second column element x minus i y plus 0 plus 0 so x minus i y and uh, second row first column element x plus i y and uh, fourth sorry second row fourth column element so 0 plus 0 minus z that is you would get uh, w minus z simple simply you would, you, would, you would get this so now as these two matrices uh, that is left hand side is equal to right hand side so co corresponding elements must be same so what you would get is uh, so z plus w is equal to a so z plus w is equal to a and x minus i y is equal to b x minus i y is equal to b and uh, x plus i y is equal to c x plus i y is equal to c and finally this d is equal to w minus z d is equal to w minus z that is uh, z, and that is nothing but w minus z is equal to d so let this be equation one so actually let this be equation one and this is 2, 3, 4, 5. So now let us solve these uh, equations. So solving equation. 2 and 5 so that is z plus w is equal to a minus z plus w is equal to d 2 and 5 so this is equation 2 and this is equation 5 so z plus w equals to a and w minus z can be written as minus z plus w and then that is equal to d so now I am adding these two equations so this both would get cancelled so 2 w is equal to a plus d that is w is equal to a plus d by 2 so value of w is nothing but a plus d by 2 now let's substitute let's substitute w in equation 2 so z plus a plus d by 2 is equals to a so sending to the outside we would have a minus a by 2 minus d by 2 that is z d is equals to a by 2 mi minus d by 2 that is a minus d by 2 overall so this is the value of z and uh, next thing is now again solving equations 3 and 4 we get so x minus i y is equals to b x plus i y is equals to c so this both would get cancelled 2 x is equals to b plus c and x is equals to b plus c by 2 again substituting x in equation 3 so b plus c by 2 minus i y is equals to b so again it would become minus i y is equals to uh, b by 2 minus c by 2 again um, multiplying with i on both sides what we would get is i into i i square minus 1 minus into minus plus so y i into b minus c by 2 so this is y so finally we have found this so uh, w is equal to a plus 2 z is equal to a minus d by 2 x is equal to b plus c by 2 and y is equal to i into b minus c by 2 so substituting x y z w in equation 1 we get so this is the equation 1 so we need to substitute them so uh, let us see whether we can uh, um, whether this uh, satisfies this this value satisfies this equation or not so if it is satisfied then finally we can say uh, this is nothing but hypothesis so according to the question uh, we need to show that uh, any arbitrary matrix and express as linear combination of these matrices. So this is the 
forma formati formula so we don't know whether it can be expressed or not we are just checking so this is the hypothesis so we have got x y z values in this term and let us see whether they satisfy that equation and finally we get a uh, left hand side equals to right hand side or not so a b c d and in the case of x we need to write b plus c by 2 and sigma x so let us uh, directly write what is sigma x so 0 1 1 0 and y y is nothing but i into b minus c by 2 and uh, sigma y is, is nothing but 0 minus i i 0 and uh, finally pi um, z uh, sorry this is z sigma z x sigma x y sigma y z sigma z w i so z is nothing but a minus d by 2 z sigma z is nothing but 1 0 0 minus 1 plus w is nothing but a plus d by 2 into d by 2 1 0 0 1 so let's see whether left hand side is equal to right hand side we get or not so a b c d and uh, here so b plus c by 2 b plus c by 2 0 plus so this has to be multiplied inside so uh, anything into 0 0 i into i minus 1 minus into minus plus so b minus c by 2 here and i into i minus so here you would have c minus b by 2 because i into i is minus 1 so minus of uh, b minus c by 2 is nothing but c minus b by 2 and another thing 0 and plus a minus d by 2 0 0 so multiplying this is a constant multiplied with a matrix so constant multiplied by, uh, by a matrix is nothing but ka kb kc kd like that you would have so multiplying this constant so here minus 1 is there so d minus a by 2 uh, and a plus d by 2 0 0 a plus d by 2 so let's see whether we get a b c d or not so here 0 plus 0 0 and a minus d by 2 a plus d by 2 d by 2 d by 2 would get cancels so what you would have is a by 2 plus a by 2 that is nothing but a and uh, first row second column element here b plus c by 2 here b minus c by 2 remaining all 0 so just leave it so c by 2 minus c by 2 will get cancelled b by 2 plus b by 2 is nothing but b and uh, second row first column element so b plus c by 2 c minus b by 2 minus b by 2 plus b by 2 will get cancelled and you would have only c by 2 and remaining all are 0 so 0 plus 0 and next second row second row the uh, se second row second column element so 0 plus 0 0 d minus a by 2 a plus d by 2 so minus a by 2 plus a by 2 will get cancelled so d by 2 plus g by 2 is nothing but d sorry here uh, minus b by 2 plus b by 2 would get cancelled c by 2 plus c by 2 is nothing but c only c you would be having so finally we have proved that uh, left hand side so hence left hand side is equals to right hand side so our hypothesis is true so expressing in this equation is true so hence proved so our given hypothesis is true so hence we can express any 2 by 2 matrix as a linear combination of sigma x sigma y sigma z and i from this equation so fine hence we can express any arbitrary 2 by 2 matrix as linear combination of sigma x sigma y sigma z and i so that is the solution and finally we have proved this important property of polyspin matrices so that is the case so thank you